our brothers and sisters on the other side on issues that are important to the people of Kenya, them as an opposition, us as a government. That way, the system of checks and balances remains intact. Uh, Mr. President, I am Sidney Chazima from NTV. Um, I have one or two questions. One, in a parliament where the ruling party or the ruling coalition enjoys a very high majority, how, how bipartisan will that process be? And then secondly, um, you've only touched on one of the issues that uh, the opposition was uh, putting forward as uh, part of their demands. Uh, there are issues to do with the servers, there are issues to do with the uh, high cost of living which you have, you have mentioned. Um, then thirdly, this is to do with the demonstrations. Um, we've seen uh, some kind of brute force against the media from the police. We would like you to address that. On the first issue, um, we've been this road before. We've um, sorted out uh, matters in a bipartisan way in Parliament before, irrespective of what numbers there are. And in any case, the numbers in Parliament, uh, the, the difference is not that much from where I sit. So I do not see any threat of any side. And in any case, when we engage in a bipartisan approach, it is not a game of numbers. It is a game of reason and how we um, uh, put our arguments in a manner that carries not one side, but all sides. That is the essence of a bipartisan approach. Um, I have responded for, in my statement, if you, if you read carefully my statement, I have responded to all the issues that our good friends on the other side um, have engaged in. And finally, we are great believers in free media. And any engagement that puts the media in danger is not acceptable. However, in the context of the violent demonstrations, you agree that there has been a lot of violence against citizens, many citizens, properties, burning down of buildings, you know, including churches. In that confusion, there could have been incidences where the media was caught in the fray. I do not think there is any deliberate attack on the media. And if there was such deliberate attack on the media, I can tell you we would be opposed to it and we would not support it and we would actually uh, deal with it because we believe that the media should be left to carry out its duties, its uh, broadcasts, irrespective of how unfair they may be. It doesn't really matter. But the media should be left alone, irrespective of how biased they may be. Okay, any other manena? And just for the record, because I have seen some other people say, oh, maybe the media will be, I don't know what will be switched off. Take it from me. Kenya has come a long way. The errors of uh, the era of uh, switching off, I don't know this or that, that that's way behind us. I have said we will support the right of the media to carry out its function. You have our absolute support, irrespective of how biased you are against us. We will support you. Yeah? We will support you to do whatever it is that you're doing. But uh, I am sure if we exchange positions, if you are standing where I'm standing, you guys would have switched off the media. But us, we will not. Sawa. Santene.